Hello, Richard here. Today, in this short 10 minutes video, I'm going to share with you how to install DSERS, DSERS, into your e commerce Shopify store and link it with AliExpress and at the same time use DSERS supplier optimizer to find the best supplier for you. So let's move on. So I've already installed this Shopify's three days trial. So as you can see, this is a typical Shopify dashboard. From the Shopify dashboard on the left side, click on the apps. And for the apps, I want you to click on the app and sales channel settings. Click on that. And you can see you have, you have the choice to click to the Shopify app store. Click on the Shopify app store. And here you are. You're in the Shopify app store whereby there's so many apps that you can increase and improve your Shopify functions. But let's get focused. Okay, shall we? So let's click on DSERS, D-S-E-R-S. You can see over here, there's an orange color button, DSERS dash AliExpress dropshipping. Click on that and you'll be in a DSERS. Feel free to watch the one minute videos. And DSERS, in fact, work with some other platform like WooCommerce and Wix. But my personal opinion feel that Shopify is still the best e-commerce software in the market today. So let's install this thesis. Install it. So it take a while, be patient. And then we got it. And they will prompt you, you have to click install the apps, right? So yes, click on the black color button, install the apps. And then from here, Wait a while. You shall be logging in to your DSS account. But for my case, because I got a few uh, training accounts, so it can be a little bit messy, but don't get worried about this part. So you should be able to see this DSS dashboard. So right now, you can DSS dashboard. What you're going to do is to open a new tab, plus size, go to aliexpress.com, Open an account, register for an account, or by default, if you register this is correctly, you have already have an account. Okay, but for this case, I'll leave it as no login, but it still work. Okay, so before we move on, you have to understand that after you set up a Shopify store, if you install the Deezer apps. That's one more step. First step, obviously, you're going to install the Deezer apps. Second step is to install the Deezer Chrome extensions. So why do we need a Deezer Chrome extensions? Because if we install this Chrome extension, it is basically you go type this this Chrome extensions. Okay, I've installed into my devices. So this is the link as you can see over here in my screen. On my screen, right? This is dash aliexpress.com product importer. Click on this link, you bring to the Chrome web store. Obviously, your devices going to use Chrome browser. If not, it's not gonna work. For your case, you will not see the word remove from Chrome. You will see add to Chrome. When you click on that, it will show a little pop-up and you click on Add Extensions and then synchronize it. And then once it's done, you will have the same as me. They will show a blue color button, put Remove from Chrome. You just have to close away this tab. So keep your tab clean. You should have Shopify, one tab, Deezer's Dashboard, one tab, and AliExpress. So with these three clean tab, let's move on. So let's say I'm going to sell hat, right? I will go to AliExpress.com, search for hat. And if you install the DSS Chrome extension correctly, you will, will be able to see every single product over here. There's a little green frame, I call it, over each of all these products. The purpose of this green frame is that when your cursor moves towards a particular product, do you notice that there's a little icon DS, the orange color button? This is the DSS Chrome extension apps. So let's click on this product. Click, they will show you importing. And it will show import AliExpress product import success. In the rare event, it will show you, you need to log in to AliExpress, to your DSS account. Don't worry. You simply have to go back to your Shopify store, click on the ads, and click on the same DSS. You open a new window, and that's the way to log in to your DSS account. Okay. And once you log in and open a new tab on the DSS account, you should have good practice close the old tab so that at any time any point of time you're going to need three windows shopify this and aliexpress 
So for this case, I have lock in again, as you can see, just to show you the example. So if I go to, if that only, you need to only do this if you can't import it in, just like my example over here. So I'm showing the rare instances. So for most of us, if you lock in this is currently and you click on the particular product, the orange color DS, it should show AliExpress product import success. So sometimes people say, I need to see what I'm selling. It is okay. There's another way to do this thing. You click on this product in the center, not the icon, the orange icon. You can scroll down, look at the product pricing, look at the descriptions, look at the review, look at everything. And you notice at the end of this corner, there is a add to DS. Add to DS tab, right? It is the same tag. So I'll click on that. So there's two ways to skin a cat, right? So I can see AliExpress product import success. Okay, so this is how we do it. So as you can see, our good practice, usually I will close one of the window if it's duplicate. Let's say that means if there's two AliExpress, I'll close the earlier one. There's two dishes, I'll close the earliest one. So I click my window clean so i be able to focus exactly where I am. So for this case, you know that for this course, very short video, I've imported two products, this hat and this hat into my dishes. So the next step is to click my dishes apps and go to my import list, click on my import list. If you're already static on the import list, what you need to do is simply refresh. This is the refresh or we call the reload button. Click on this reload page. You will be able to see whatever you imported from AliExpress into your product, into your dishes. Okay, so don't worry and get you know frustrated over this little, little thing. As you can see, I've imported two examples right in this video live. So what you can do is normally if you feel that this is a good price, this is a good vendor, this is a good supplier, what we do normally, yeah, the first way is to click on this orange color button. You can see more all the products, this orange color button, right? This button means push to Shopify. So I can push to the store. So I choose the store for this case. I have to click also publish the online store. So it'll be published as an active product and I click push to store. So what is going to happen is that this product will be from this push to Shopify. So if the variance, that means the options of this product is less than 100, you'll be successful. If it's more than 100, you're going to go to the variance tab and reduce it. You know, it's just basically this tab here. Okay, click on this edit product. And see this variant is 18. So you're going to reduce it. That means you're going to remove those variants to make sure that it's less than 100. Save it and then come back and push it again. If your product is more than 100 variants, how uh, most of the time it should be less than that. So as you can see over here, this example, I've successfully pushed this product to my Shopify store. So what's next? I will click on my Shopify tab and go to my products that on the left, or left panel. And you can see this particular head is there. Can you see that? So, and then I can continue my edit on the title, on the descriptions. Nowadays, there's this AI tools. I will not touch on this for this video. And everything is there, okay? Except the review, right? So everything from AliExpress will be imported wholesale from AliExpress through Shop Thesis into Shopify. So I'm going to show you the second way, the more advanced way, okay? So the more advanced way, let's say I use this second example. I think I can get a better price maybe a faster delivery, maybe a better vendors for this head. What I do is I scroll down to these little three dots whereby it show more actions. I click on more actions and I click on the word supplier optimizer. So it takes a while. On this supplier optimizer, you will notice that this is going to go to the AliExpress and find vendor or supplier that most likely going to sell the same or almost the same products with the better price, with a better ratings, with a faster delivery, with a larger sales number. So you must understand that end of the day, this is very subjective. Okay, when we say supply optimizer, it can mean I can play with this tab here. You can see there's all the up down arrow, right? So I can choose, obviously, I'm going to try to get it cheaper. So I choose the lower, lowest price, 774. That's the lowest in the market. Let's say, okay, I can see here it's not the lowest. Okay, this is the lowest. 193 this is the lowest. I can see the sales number. Earlier on, if you remember correctly, this particular product I'm going to import in, actually, how much is it? This particular product is about $12 plus. Oh, sorry, it's over here, $9 plus. But on this supply optimizer, I can, in fact, find only $1.93. That means I save $8 over the products. They see that? And the sales number is quite decent. The delivery date usually is about two to four weeks. So that's not that important for us at this point. And look at the ratings. As long as the ratings is above three, I'm quite cool about it. Okay, so I leave it to you. You can also click on the tab of this year's number to play off with the highest number of tab 
You can see this particular supplier sell 468 as of this recording, but the price is slightly higher, it's $6 plus. But if you remember the product over there, what we're actually looking at at the point is $9.65. If I do not go to the supply optimizer, I may be losing $3 per product. Do you see what I'm trying to say? So this supply optimizer, feel free to go and play with it, click on the pricing, click on the shipping price, if there's shipping charges, click on the sales number, the rate date should be the same, click on the ratings. So choose the one that you're more comfortable with. Okay, so let's say I think this $5 plus with 34 number is good. The rating is five star. I want a full good services five star. I'll click on this. I click on the product items. And what do I do? I go back to the same square one whereby I'm going to click on this add the desserts orange color button. I will add this product to my desserts, import it to my desserts just like early on. And what do I do? Okay, I'm going to close the window, right? The duplicate window. I'll go to my, I won't, I will ignore this supplier optimizer tab. I go to my dessert tab. I reload, right? Reload so that that particular new suppliers selling almost the same head, if not the same head, could be a plot, appear in my import list, as you can see in a while time. This is exactly the same thing, but slightly cheaper than the other guys. Okay, and if you remember correctly, I choose this not just for the price, because it's also for the rating, the full five-star rating. So now I'm not going to optimize second time, right? So I can leave it as it is. I'm going to push to my store. Okay, I'm going to choose my store. Remember to click also publish the online store. Push to my store. If it's less than 100 variants, as I mentioned earlier, you should get it successfully pushed. For this case, they put fear to push. So let's click on this button here and see how much is it. Can see, right? It's more than 100 variants. So you can see from here, more than 100 is 116 variants. So what you can do is you can delete some of the variants over here. I mean, how do you delete? Do this as a dustbin. I can choose to delete this. I can choose to delete this. Different, different variants until you hit 100 or less. And then I save it and I continue to push to Shopify store. And then I go to my Shopify store tab. And then I click on the product or reload it again so that I can see the latest product from the latest supplier player. Okay, so you just have to keep watching this video a few times. Pause it, do it. After a while, in a few minutes time, you will be the experts you'll be using visas to import product to have a best supplier optimized into your Shopify store. I wish you all the best. If you like my videos as usual, feel free to subscribe to my channel and like my videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.